Yo, what's going on, everybody? J Mando coming back at y'all with another YouTube video. And as y'all seen by the title today, I'm going to be indulging in a topic that a lot of you guys seem to be having trouble with. So I really just want to help out the community. And, you know, I'm, some of my boys are having trouble with this as well. So it seems like something that a lot of people are struggling with. And yeah, let's waste no time. Let's get right into it. All right, y'all. So the topic of discussion is banned accounts, right? Banned listings, banned posts, your listing getting taken down, your accounts being closed, everything under that category, right? So this could be happening for multiple different reasons. Um, it depends on the platform you're on. So I think to start off, we're going to be talking about Facebook Marketplace and Macari, because those two kind of go hand in hand. All right, so I'm going to talk about Macari first, since this one goes a little bit more in depth than Facebook Marketplace, but they do have one kind of point that applies to both. So the point that applies to both is your product photos, right? And I'm going to show you guys an example. When you buy real uh, Apple AirPod Pro 2s, they don't come in plastic wrap. They don't come in shrink wrap, okay? They come with a green seal, and I'll show you what that looks like right now. It looks like this, right? So you, you could tell there's no plastic wrap here, but you see this little green. You peel this, and this is how they come, no plastic wrap. All right, so with that being said... This is a reason why your post could be getting taken down, right? If you post in the plastic rack, the shrimp, shrink wrap, and you know you say you're under a very bright light, the light is gonna ref reflect off the plastic and it's gonna be very obvious that's in plastic. And this specific version isn't um, made in plastic, right? The retail isn't sold in plastic. So that would be a, a giveaway that it's uh, fake, which would get your post taken down. Um, so yeah, you take the, I actually took my pictures in plastic, but I think it depends on the lighting, right? Like, if you're right under a bright light and the light is reflecting directly off the plastic, it's very obvious. And I think it's automated by, like, an AI type of, um, what do you call it? Like, an AI just runs through, like, all the photos. So I think it kind of is hard to pick it up if it's bouncing off the right way. So if you kind of have a faint light coming on, you can't really see the plastic. You can get away with that. But I would say don't make it obvious that it's in plastic. And honestly, your best bet is probably just avoid posting the back of it at all. And I know I made a couple of videos about this saying, you know, post good pictures of the back, which I still stand by for me, at least, because that's what works for me. But after seeing a lot of um, people getting banned and a lot of this feedback, I honestly would just say stay away from posting pictures of the back. Now, the second thing with Macari, and this is super, super important. So please listen up. This can be the difference between you selling, you know, whatever, everything on Macari and you getting banned instantly. You need to sell things on Macari. You need to have an account as if you were already a seller, right? The reason why I believe, and I'm almost positive, I had so much success on Macari is because before I posted any AirPods, I had already sold 20 or 30 just items floating around the house, right? Just please take an hour, two hours out of your day, and this will make the biggest difference. I'm almost positive about it. This iPhone right here, I do use this, you know, from for certain purposes, but... Let's say this is like an iPhone 8 Plus. It's cracked. Throw it up for 60 bucks, $50. You're never using it, and it's a free 50 bucks. It's literally a win-win. This was this is honestly what started my whole entrepreneurial reselling journey in a way, was just getting uh, stuff around my house. I made probably like almost $3,000 just going around stuff. And I'm not going to say you're going to make that much money because, you know, I am very blessed and fortunate. I do have some more uh, higher-end expensive things that were laying around. So that is a big part of why I made that type of money. But that's not to say that you can't make decent money. I mean, there's if everyone has something that they don't use and it's just sitting around, right? If you can go grab something that you haven't touched in two years and get a free lunch out of it, a free tank of gas out of it, anything, pay one of your bills, why not, right? It's literally sitting there collecting dust. And once you build up probably like 10, 15 items you sold or even just list them, they don't really have to sell, but you just need your account to look real. It's better if they sell. But listen, because if think about it as Macari, they're looking through these um, accounts and there's hundreds of these accounts, people trying to resell every day. You make a brand new account and the only and first thing you post is a pair of AirPods for $90 when they sell for $250. Your account's going to get closed, right? It's just, it's obvious they're fake and that's what you're trying to do with your account. They're going to boot you off the app. So just sell stuff around your house, list stuff around your house. You'll get money out of it, and it'll help you get rid of some AirPods. So super, super important tip with Macari, and I think that is the main reason why you guys aren't seeing success. And that point probably goes with um, eBay and Facebook Marketplace too. Like, you got to think logically, guys. If you open up an account, right, and you post one item, the most replicated reselling item that is out right now, and you're posting it for 
uh, 30% of the retail price, they're going to pack up your account. You're, you're getting booted. So you just got to think logically. Grab some stuff around your house, throw it up, make some quick cash, and get your account looking good. And also the verified account. Um, I think you have to put in like your government ID and stuff like that. That's kind of up to you if you guys want to do that. If you don't want to do that, you could just make a new account before you get up to 600 in sales. But doing that and, um, you know, being a verified account seller on Macari definitely helps. Excuse me. And having reviews, right? If you have like 20, 30 reviews and you slip in an AirPod here and there and you have like those 20 reviews from stuff like this, you're less likely to get um, banned. And I can say this from experience because... I will say right now, my account is kind of in the process of being like banned. I'm kind of in contact with their team right now, but I sold 15 AirPods on one account. So I do take, um, I do take full blame for that. That's definitely my fault. It was a stupid move, but they didn't ban me until after I sold 15 AirPods. And that was because I had already sold $3,000 and, you know, random stuff around my house. So I was like, I was a real seller before I started uh, selling AirPods. So yeah. Style stuff around your house is the moral of the story. Now, when it comes to eBay, I talked about this in a few of my comments. eBay is the strictest marketplace, right? They're going to take your stuff down. I would say your best bet for eBay is don't even post product photos. Just take a picture. This is, this is the method I'm going to give you for eBay. Free game right here. Because I know a lot of people aren't going to watch this video. It's, we're already pretty deep into the video, a couple minutes in. And it's not the most clickbaity title. So if you're watching this, I'm going to give you some free sauce. Post just a stock photo, and I'm going to show you um, a listing of mine. Just a stock photo, and then set it to a bid with a low price. That is your best bet for eBay. I'm going to show you an example right now. All right, guys, so this is a good example. I did include some product photos just because I wanted to show the clients that it was, in fact, in the plastic. But here's, uh, I'm going to give you guys a little sneak peek. Once again, for those people who are staying uh, this deep into a video that wasn't a clickbait title, I'm going to give you guys a little, a little sneak peek and for the reselling part three. But the Dyson's up. I think I started this at, um, I want to say 150. We're 17 bids in. Listing hasn't gotten taken down. That also, you know, has to do with Dyson's not being as saturated. But $195. Still have 20 hours left. I would say this probably gets up into like, I want to say 220s. I really, I, I can't be positive. It could go higher. It definitely will go higher though, because 20 hours left. Someone's gonna bid on it, especially with 17 people already having bid on it. So yeah, you guys are going to have to wait for a part three of the reselling journey to see how high it ultimately does end up going. But yeah, for eBay, I would say just use stock product photos. And if that doesn't work for you, because I really don't use eBay, they take down my AirPods too. Like I said, they're the strictest marketplace. I would honestly just stay away from eBay for AirPods. I would use them for Dyson's, which you know I'm doing stuff that's just less saturated. You know what I mean? Like I mentioned earlier, AirPods are the most saturated thing. Not to say you can't make money off of them, because I still do, and you can too. But in the in the eyes of like these companies and marketplaces, they know what's going on with the AirPods. So they're cracking down on it a lot more. So you kind of have to think a little bit outside of the box, be a little more uh, cautionary. And for Macari, like I said, sell some shit around your house. And become a verified seller, get some reviews. And yeah, so kind of a i don't think this video was too short but um yeah i just want to get this video out because i saw a lot of people in my comments saying you know i got banned jack what do i do all this stuff you know a couple of my boys are going through this as well so i want to get this video out there help you guys out um let me know how this how this goes i know it's going to take a probably a couple of days maybe even longer to get kind of results from this feedback but let me know i hope this is helpful for you guys i appreciate all the support and love um part three of the reselling journey will be coming soon and any other stuff you guys want to see, anything you need help with, leave it down in the comments below. I would love to make a video on it, help you guys out, and help me uh, get some more video ideas and make some more content. But yeah, that'll be it for today, guys. I hope you enjoyed. I hope this video helps you. And I'll see you on the next one. Be good.